Hi children, today we are going to do the first lesson from grade 6, Wonders of the Living World. Now we are doing the first part. Listen. The environment is our surrounding, including us. Let's see what is it con is consists with trees, houses, different kind of plants, different kind of animals. Okay. Let's do this activity to find out the components of the environment. You can observe the different things inside and outside of the Let's list, list out it like this. What are the things inside of the classroom and what are the things outside of the classroom? The things inside of the classroom. Pencil, blackboard, chair. Outside of the classroom we can see clouds trees and many other different things you can observe many different things in the environment as well as in the classroom different environment consists of different components let's see what are those village is a different environment with different components its whole thing is green cup with fields lot of trees some tiny houses City. City is consist with big, big wheel buildings. A beach. You can see waves, coconut trees, boats, forests. It is truly covered with huge trees. Totally, it's green color. Okay. Let's identify the nature of the components of the environment. I'm going to give you a small question. Can you wear a pair of shoes that you used when you were a baby? Actually, no. You can clearly see it in this picture also. The increase in size, height or amount is called growth. What is growth? The increase in size, height or amount. Okay. Can you see a growth in everything in the environment? No. There's things that grow and things that do not grow. Let's list out them. What are the things that grow? Child, plant, dog. Things that do not grow are pencil, chair, car. There are many different things. Components with growth are called living things or living organisms. Components with the growth are called living things. Or living components without a growth are called non-living things what is non-living things the components without a growth are called non-living things the components of the environment can be categorized under two main groups as living things and non-living things in this hierarchy also you can see I have divided the components of the environment into two groups as living things and non-living things. Let's see some examples for living things. Birds, human being, trees, dog. The, all the things are living things. Let's see some examples for non-living things. Glass of water, books, rock, bicycle. These are non-living things. Uh, can you divide the things, living things, in listed above in groups? These are the living things. Living things can be divided into two main groups as plants and animals. In this hierarchy, you can clearly see Living things are categorized into two groups, plants and animals. Let's see some examples for plants. Bamboo, coconut, papaya, jack. Let's see some examples for animals. Deer, fish, parrot, snail, and butterfly. Okay. Are there any other organisms expect plants and animals? Yes, there are many organisms expect plants and animals. Let's see what are they. 
if you want to observe them, you can observe them using the microscope. Let's take uh, the water sample under the microscope. You have to observe the water sample under the microscope. The organisms that cannot be observed by the naked eye are called microorganisms. That's why we are using microscope. The organisms that cannot be observed by naked eye are called microorganisms. These are the microorganisms in a drop of water. Amoeba, euglena, chlamydomonas, and some bacteria are there. Okay, this is the compound microscope. The compound microscope is observed, used to observe things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. The compound microscope is used to observe things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Okay. Large number of microorganisms can be seen in water, soil, air and rotten food. You have already seen the microorganisms in water. Let's see. Uh, uh, microorganisms in soil here is microorganisms in soil in air and rotten food the organisms can be divided into three main groups according to which we have learned up to now organisms can be divided into three main groups as plants animals and microorganisms this hierarchy also I have clearly given you organisms can be categorized into three groups as plants animals and microorganisms here is what we have learned from grade 6 unit 1 wonders of the living world as the first part I think you have gained the good knowledge about this lesson thank you